Electrical and Electronic Principles, Unit 37. Welcome to this unit. After this short session, you will be able to explain how the unit will be assessed, explain where the learning resources are, explain how the unit is graded, explain how many credits the unit has. So assessment will be via assignment. There will be three in all. You will need to carry out research and produce artifacts within the given time scale, generally two weeks. All work will be submitted on the ePortfolio and assessed by your assessor. There is a suite of e-learning modules to accompany each unit, which can be found on the learning management system. Throughout this module, you'll be using a variety of different resources. We have worksheets for you to download, quizzes at the end of each session, video tutorials, one-to-one -one tutorials with your assessor, various books, and of course, the internet. This book is one of the best there are and covers everything in this course plus much more. You can buy second-hand versions in good condition on auction or other websites for as little as 50 pence. A very good investment for this course and future courses. This book by Bird is the newer version, however all the versions are available and just as useful. After all, the principles haven't changed. So what grades are possible in this unit? Well, in this unit, as with all units in this course, we only have a pass grade. There is no opportunity for merit or distinction grades, or for any of the qualifications on this apprenticeship. In each unit, there are learning outcomes, LOs, and assessment criteria, ACs. Let's have a look. So in this unit, there are four learning outcomes summary of which are on the screen. However, this translates into three assignments. Each learning outcome has a number of assessment criteria. These are numbered with the learning outcome first, then the sub-criteria. So learning outcome one, criteria two reads 1.2, and so on. This is the same for every unit on the apprenticeship. The pass mark is 100%, however, there are no tests So what is a unit credit? You may have noticed on the first screen there are 10 credits and it could be counted towards a qualification. One credit is roughly equivalent to 10 guided learning. However, this unit has 60 credits spread over three months, so roughly five hours a week and one assignment per month. So to summarize then, you've been explained how the unit will be assessed explained where the learning resources are, and explained how the unit is graded and how many credits the unit has. Good luck. Hope we see you soon.